Hey everybody and welcome back to Tenzin Motorsports. In today's video I want to go over a topic that I get a ton of questions about uh, constant. We've touched on it in some other videos but I haven't really gone like really deep dive and specifically talked about this one particular topic and that is what parts do I buy OEM and why would it be worth it to spend that extra money to have it OEM through BMW versus like buying something off of eBay or Amazon that is made by somebody else that you can tell is not the manufacturer of those parts. It gets a little bit complicated. But first, before we get into that, make sure you are subscribed, like the video if you are enjoying this kind of content and you wanna see more stuff like this. Comment if you have any comments or questions. And also make sure to check us out on Instagram, tens underscore motorsports. A lot of early release content, uh, you'll see sneak peeks and things over there before you see them on the channel. Now, I do have a small list of things that I will buy specifically OEM BMW parts, one of them being the roundels. Now, this one's really difficult because roundels can be kind of expensive. Now, this is more for some of the older beamers. I'm, I'm not really too sure on like the F30 body style and up, but I know for like E30, E36, E46, and E90s that the roundels are fairly expensive and I'm sure that the newer models either take a different size around L or are more expensive just because it's a, a newer car. But for example, the E46s we work on here, your hood logo is like 50 bucks, your trunk one's like 40 and the wheels can be like 16, 20 dollars a piece. Now that's basically 200 dollars. That sounds really aggressive, really steep, but when you look at the longevity of these round L's, it makes sense. Uh, for example, so I've got a couple here. Um, this one, and we'll get some close-ups of these. This one here came off the trunk. I believe this was the trunk badge off of the green 330CI that we bought for parts. This one, you can tell is old, and as far as I can see here, it is the original one to the car, which means that this emblem is 20 years old, which is absolutely crazy. Now, the trunk ones, I'll admit, the trunk ones do get way less sunlight than a hood. The hoods are gonna be out in the sun. If it's parked outside, it's out in the sun, basically the entire time the sun is up. The trunk, I'd be willing to bet, probably gets about 25% of sun compared to the hood. So these are gonna last longer, but that's just proof right there that they don't fall apart as easily. Now, let's go over here to a trunk one that is a cheap eBay one. Now you can see the person who bought this one wanted it to be black and red. And this came off of the E46 M3 that we bought as a donor car for our S54 swapped wagon. And you can see that it's just starting to yellow and there's already scratch marks in it. And the scratch marks are basically the same depth and amount as the OEM badge from 20 years ago. And it just shows you how cheap these badges are when you buy them like this. Here is a hood one. Obviously this is a much newer hood one, but it is at least a couple years old. And here is one from the same car that this one came from. These were all purchased at the same time and you can see how much worse the hood one got than the trunk did. Again, the hoods are always gonna be slightly worse because they're in the sun so much more than the trunk. But even on the wheels, which is a vertical surface, these badges that were purchased, I believe in a set, started to fade and get yellow and the clear coat just looks bad on them. Just don't do it. It's, it's not worth it. Save up and spend the money on the OEM BMW logos. And if you want to change colors on them, just put some overlays on them. In fact, if you're interested in buying any, I sell them for about $10, $15 a sheet, depending on what color you want. All you have to do is DM us on Instagram, tens underscore motorsports, and uh, we've got a whole bunch of colors. I do it to basically every single BMW we get because it's just a simple, fun, completely reversible way to make your car just slightly different. Something you've done to your car that stands out from the crowd of other BMWs. The other thing that I want to talk about in this video is door clips, exterior clips, the plastic clips. You see them all over BMWs by OEM ones. I have gotten lucky and found some on eBay that worked really well, but it's just, it's not worth it. You spend $15 on a big bag of clips and 
sometimes they work and sometimes they don't. I had some for the wagon. We were, so I bought a bag of cheap ones off of Amazon and they just exploded. You, you pop them in and just boom, shattered like thin glass. And it just really frustrated me because it wasn't like I had put the door on and it was smacking it really hard. I would go put the door on and just push it with my palm, just bust, 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 every single one of them. And the ones that were on the door from 2004, uh, there had been some replaced, but I, I know that there were some on there that were absolutely original because you could tell that just the way they looked and felt. And they were still popping back in and being able to do that cycle several times as I pulled the door off and replaced the ones that had exploded that were new. And the ones that were on the BMW from who knows how long ago were still popping in, holding, and then coming back out and going back in. And it's just that kind of stuff. That is another thing that is absolutely worth buying from BMW. That is, this includes the uh, clips that go down the, the trim pieces on the exterior of the car. Kind of a weird shape with like a green cap on it. Just buy the OEM ones. And you can find these on ECS Tuning. In fact, I'll have the link to everything I talk about today, as always, linked in the description below. Honestly, I think that's really it. A lot of parts, like I mentioned earlier, can be purchased as the, the, man, the original manufacturer that made it and then they ship it to BMW or they'll package it different for BMW and then BMW uh, will mark it up. Uh, but even though it's, you know, rain automotive, they'll put it in BMW packaging and they'll, they'll charge more for it. Most of your maintenance will be like that. Uh, if you can go on to ECS Tuning and, and find those parts, you can actually find it from the manufacturer who makes it for BMW. And in that case, it is an OEM manufacturer. It's just not in the BMW certified packaging or whatever it is. If I miss anything, make sure you comment it because I'm sure there's other things that, that you really should buy, specific OEM BMW parts. Uh, I know that there was a couple bolts when I was doing my engine rebuild that I bought from BMW. Uh, and I think that was mostly because of inventory or shipping shortages, uh, delays, that I just went to the BMW dealership and they happened to have some of those bolts there. So. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comment section below. Again, if I miss anything, make sure you comment that and I'll make sure to reply as well. I really appreciate everybody so much for watching. If you like these kind of videos where I'm answering your comments and questions, make sure that you hit the like button so that I know you're enjoying these topic videos. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.